Hey everyone, it's Nurse Sarah, and in this video, I'm gonna go over the CSF findings in bacterial meningitis versus viral meningitis. So, first up, whenever they do a lumbar puncture, one of the first things they're gonna be able to assess is that opening pressure. It, anywhere normal is about five to 15. In bacterial meningitis, it's gonna be really high, whereas in viral, it's typically normal. With the appearance of this CSF in bacterial meningitis, it's going to be cloudy. The reason for this is because there's mainly neutrophils in that CSF with bacterial meningitis and they are granular. Plus, there's gonna be high amounts of protein and bacterial debris, so you get this cloudiness to it. With viral, it tends to be clear. The glucose in the CSF in bacterial meningitis is going to be low because the bacteria are eating them. So it's going to be less than 40. In viral, the glucose will be normal. White blood cell count is going to be high in both, so bacterial, it's going to be very high, and it's mainly going to be neutrophils in there. With viral, it will be high, mainly lymphocytes. With protein, with bacterial meningitis, the protein will be high, and the reason for this is because whenever neutrophils come, there's a lot of them that come to our CSF, but because they come, we're going to have a lot of inflammation going on and whenever we have inflammation it actually increases vascular permeability and we get the leaking of protein. With viral there's going to be slightly high protein and then with cultures with bacterial when they culture it of course it's going to grow cultures and that will help us identify it. With viral our cultures will be negative. Okay so that wraps up this video. If you'd like to watch more videos in this series you can access the link in the description below.